Good afternoon, everyone. Eric Morrow here to report the area news for WJSQ WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donnie Gaddis agency. The Tennessee Department of Human Services has identified a daycare where several children have had E. coli. News outlets report that the temporary closure of Kids Place, Inc. in Mascot comes amid an investigation by the department into a string of E. coli cases. The four children diagnosed with it at the center have required hospitalization. Health Department Director Martha Buchanan says that they may have come in contact with animals carrying E. coli. The center has animals next to it in a private farm, but the daycare center statement says that the kids did not interact with any animals from the farm. The health department is investigating several E. coli cases in kids and says in some instances children have consumed raw milk from French broad farms. Buchanan says the milk is being tested. The Tennessee Attorney General's office says it will object to a new request from the maker of the world's top leading painkillers and to keep a complaint hidden from the public view. Tennessee was among six states last month with a, that had filed a lawsuit against OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma. A judge gave Purdue Pharma 10 days to argue that Tennessee's complaint should be kept from the public. The Attorney General's office said Friday that the company has asked the court to redact most of Tennessee's complaint. The Tennessee Coalition for Open Government and the Knoxville News Sentinel asked for the public access to records in the lawsuit. The coalition and a newspaper asked to intervene saying that the state has an addiction crisis and citizens have compelling interest in this lawsuit. Purdue Pharma has denied claims in the lawsuit against it and said it will defend itself. Officials say a person has died attending the Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo Music Festival in Tennessee. News outlets report Coffee County Sheriff Steve Graves confirmed the body was found Friday morning at a festival's campground. Coffee County Sheriff spokesman Lucky Knott says officials are investigating the cause of the death, but foul play is not suspected. Officials did not release any person's name at this time. Graves says dozens of people have been treated for heat-related issues at the festival that began Thursday in Manchester and runs through this Sunday. Well, here's a couple of community announcements taking place. Book donations continue to be accepted at the E.G. Fisher Library for the Friends of the Library book sale. The sale will be July 12th through the 15th at the McMinn County High School. A membership to Friends of the Library is $15 per individual or $25 for family. This gives you early admission and first crack at the books that are on sale. Camp Fairview in the Clay Hill community is underway for another summer. Camp Fairview is operated by the Fairview Baptist Church of Athens. Activities include swimming and Bible-centered programs. For more information about this, you can call 745-6781. You can hear the local, regional, state news on WJSQ FM 101.7 Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. You can also hear the WJSQ news here on the WJSQ WLAR YouTube channel every Monday through Friday evening of today's top headlines. If you see news happening or you just want to let us know about a community event taking place, you can reach us at the following email address. That's news, N-E-W-S, at WJSQWLAR.com. This is Eric Marr reporting the area news. You all have a great weekend.